All right, so here we have the uh, rear end of the sensor. This is the metallic end that uh, is usually permanently attached into the, um, the uh, two black rubber conductive discs that are in the insert portion that you attach to your abdomen or wherever you like to put it. And uh, here you can see it's got basically a square profile and it's got some thread on it. This is a used one. You can see the structure there pretty good. And we are going to move down the wire. And you can see the square section aspect there very nicely. Back in focus since they don't have this thing mounted. You can see the having to focus down the device and not get every other piece of it in focus at the same time. Let's go a little further down the wire. We'll get to where it gets encased. Back in here, we're going to enter the area where I think it gets into its encasement. Should turn white. Yeah, here we go. So this is the transitional spot where we switch from being exposed metallic. I think it's covered in some goo. I'll mention, I'm going to link a video, the guy who came up with CGM, somebody who wants to understand the physics of how this works, but uh, I'll discuss it a little bit when we get down to the other end. There may be some of the same sort of uh, chemical uh, stuff right here. I'm not sure why there would be, but uh, it almost looks like the same stuff. All right, so I'm going to stop the video for a second and uh, zip down to the end of the wire. bounce out of the video. Okay, here we are at the other end of the wire. This is the uh, sensor end. This is the injection end. And I always assumed there was a needle and some tube involved here, but that's not the case. Uh, here we can see the white section is the, uh, well, what you see is the white part of the lead after you pull it out. Um, after you've done your injection and the sensor has gone bonkers after a couple weeks, hopefully three weeks if you've been following the other videos I've got posted up and others, uh, but this is the white section that's typically exposed after you pull it out, and this will be just the tip. So you can see this transition from where it goes from encased um, to in the, what I assume is a um, non-conductive sheath of some kind to bare metal. And then if we go out further, we'll notice that the coloration changes. This is the area where the, like again, the video I'm gonna link, this is a substance that basically lets, it's broken down by glucose or reacts with the glucose and it gives off hydrogen peroxide, which then has a chemical reaction with the difference between this coated section and the uncoated section. And much like a thermocouple at that point, the electrons tend to move to one or the other. I'm not sure which way they want to move, but they move from one to the other and that current causes a voltage and that voltage is what the sensor actually reads. So this covering, on the end is uh, some substance, I'm sure it's fairly well kept secret, but maybe not, um, that basically uh, reacts with the glucose in your system, creates chemicals that turn into electrons that the sensor then can read. So I assume the sensors have a limited lifespan. I'm sure they put more on here than we need for our week that they claim, uh, but clearly you can see where some of this has, has, has worn off. I'm guessing that's what's going on there. Um, and there's a little bit more left. This sensor actually was my longest sensor I've had in a long time and went uh, almost five weeks, I believe. Uh, and one other thing, I'm going to pause the video again real quick, and we're going to zip up to the area where uh, the transition from inside skin to outside skin occurred. So if you have a, uh, if you have a sensitivity to gross things, you might want to skip on and uh, just go watch some other video from here. All right, so here we've got it uh, um, zoomed in on the section where you would, this would be the transition point from where the sensor is outside the body to inside the body. I was fortunate enough as this one, all this lovely goo was still stuck on this one after I pulled it out to kind of shoot this video, or really I was just kind of curious as to what was down here. So uh, right now we're focused basically at the level of the sheathing. And because this is a 3D device, I've kind of get it externally lighted on a microscope that's not microscope that's not really made for this. So I'm just going to 
focus through so you can see various depth details of the other piece. And then we'll move a little bit. That's basically just a, what amounts to a blood clot uh, that had formed at the junction between inside body and outside body, which is good, I guess. That's what the body's supposed to do. Further in, we get just um, cell buildup. This is just the body going, hey, man, I don't like this thing. I don't know what it is. I'm going to build up some gunk around it so that uh, you don't start leaking here, bro. Uh, and then further down, it's just the same stuff, basically. Just the same. I imagine it's the same stuff that uh, scabs are made out of and the body's just doing its best to get rid of or encapsulate the sensor at the point of annoyance. That's it. That's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions.